Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. Welcome to another video. It's a week or so after my birthday and I have some things to show you. I have done some damage myself at Waterstones on my birthday. I also got some questionable purchases, I guess, for my birthday. But then I also got some parcels from you guys, which is actually quite surprising because I don't actually talk about my wish list often but thank you so much it's incredibly kind that is not the surprising part at all to me so I have some parcels to open and I also have some things to show you I have turned the corner I have left my 20s behind and I'm not particularly sad about it I am conflicted about it a little bit with all of the society's deadlines placed on women in particularly I mean and I've already been deflecting the marriage thing for years so actually nothing changes on that part me and logan decided that the best thing to do when you turn the corner of some sort of decade um i mean it's the th only a third time we're doing that so <laughs> it's pretty significant i guess we've decided the best thing to do is to just run away and run away we did i did vlog it and i do plan on uploading that i think after this video so hopefully <laughs> all went well with the filming and you'll get to see a little bit of it i wish we could all travel together and um, experience the beauty that is Scottish Highland together um, but this is the best I can do this is the closest I can get to that so I did film some um, and I am very excited to show you about but okay so I'll start with the books that I got then I will get the books that you sent and then I'll show you some random bits that I got for myself um, after that <laughs> randomly from the bag of goodies this is the Discworld graphic novels i actually did not know that was a thing but i am very excited to try and experience it through this type of medium i've not read anything from Discworld, but logan has so when he saw this he mainly wanted it <laughs> but we obviously share the library so here we are i'm not sure if this follows anything or if you can just start wherever with everything with Discworld. i think you kind of can so we have that. Then the next one I got is uh, First Person Singular by Murakami. And you know, I'm gonna get the sticker off. It's funny because I've actually not read anything by them yet. I don't normally buy authors or try not to buy multiple books by the author I've not tried yet. But me and Logan have this thing with monkeys. Um, I am born on the year of a monkey, uh, same as my dad. And we always had monkey things in the family as well and then carried out Logan. Um, although he's not on the same year as I am. But when I saw the foiled monkey, I am not gonna lie, that was the main reason why I got this. The high intellectual that I am. I see monkey, I take. It's a short story collection and I'm kind of experiencing that I quite enjoy that now somehow is this character growth i don't know on the back it says here i was the first person singular if i'd chosen a different direction most likely i wouldn't be here but still who was that in the mirror another thing that i found myself been drawn towards is poetry which if you've told my 20s year old self be appalled I think you're lying this one was the second book in the <laughs> buy one get one half price category that i picked and that is axioms end i don't know if i'm pronouncing this correctly but i'm literally just now realizing why i've heard this title before it's by lindsay ellis who does video essays here on youtube i have completely blanked out that that was the book we'll see i'm always looking for good sci-fi stories sci-fi is the genre i'm the happiest in that's how I like to describe it currently. I don't know if it's the best or the most interesting, but it's the one that I thrive in. Uh, nothing excites me more than space. So, so it's quite an interesting setting. Uh, we are in 2007 and there, uh, there was a leak that the US government have first contact with aliens and the main character's family is actually very highly meddled into the cover-up. So interesting we'll see i kiss sarah wheeler it sounds to me like it's almost a little bit of a thriller of a girl kissing another girl and then that girl disappearing and following the clues to find her um since it's also a queer book i am extra excited and i have read from this author before uh for the red white and royal blue i've not read the other one by them but i do have it and i quite enjoyed it i don't think i i'm just peeling all this <laughs> 
stickers off. I don't think I've enjoyed it as much as people did, but I still had a real good time. And this one actually sounds more my type because I'm just really not that into royals and uh, also rich, rich people. Ick. <laughs> so this one sounds a bit more my type. And the last thing we got is actually a manga and uh, it's called The Way of the House Husband. We tried watching the anime for a little bit. Um, well, I say for a little bit, literally one episode and didn't really like it that much. Animation style. Because I think it was quite like choppy if I remember correctly. I don't remember. But I know we enjoyed the actual content. So when we saw this um, in the manga format available on, in Waterstones, we just decided to grab it. And I'm actually really excited to read this. I have not been really into a series of manga for a very long time and I really miss it. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Sounds like it's a lot of fun. And then I also got this notebook. I can barely see it, <laughs> but it has some foil, obviously. It's gonna be for my YouTube notes. So there we have it. Okay, off to your gifts. This is from Barbara, um, or Barbara, depends. <laughs> Happy birthday, G, thank you for everything you do for our book community, even when you so often struggle. You are amazing and I hope you feel better soon. Thank you so much. I likely won't, but one can hope. And the book is Delilah Green Doesn't Care. And when I tell you this girl right here, I don't know her. I've not met her yet, but you know, <laughs> that is uh, as my type goes. This is another queer book and it sounds extremely fun. It's about Delilah Green, who is now in New York and you know, just totally not want to go back to her town that she grew up in, but has to, and then is found in an unlikely romance, I guess. And um, it just honestly sounds really, really fun. And I have actually accidentally bought it as well on Waterstones, so I probably will do a little giveaway on Instagram maybe, because I do want to send this to someone else and keep the gifted coffee. So that was actually my last book in the haul. Oh, I have a book from Amy. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> she Who Became the Sun, which again, I have seen everywhere, I heard loads of great things. Uh, it's supposed to be really fiery, not only obviously on the cover, <laughs> but in context too. This is set in 1345 China, and a seer shows two children their fates, for the boy greatness and for the girl, of course, nothingness. And I'm hoping this girl does not care about the fate and kick fate's ass. And it sounds like it's a girl disguised as a boy type of trope, which also Kind of fun. Let me know if you have read that and if you enjoyed it. But thank you very much, Amy. Ooh, okay, this one's really exciting. Um, thank you to Adriana for this one. It's the Library of Mount Char. I've added this to my basket actually because of Cody. Cody said that this could be exactly my kind of thing. First of all, the cover is kind of really cool. It's very simple, but it's it's cool. I get where they're going. So the premise is actually quite like spooky in itself, and it's about a I don't know the age. Girl? Woman? Harlan, um, used to be normal until she was adopted with some other people by this man called Father and she didn't get out much after that. All they did was stayed assumingly captive and, and study this library and then the father went missing and the library that holds the secret stands unguarded and so there's like powers as well. So it sounds almost like thrillery but also with the mysterious library and just vibes. <laughs> Very excited, thank you so much Adriana. Then I got my dark Vanessa and I don't have the slip. It didn't, it wasn't included so whoever got this for me please identify yourself in the comments because I want to thank you. I think people have by now heard of My Dark Vanessa. It's kind of in taken inspiration from Lolita, a teacher grooming a student. It's a very dark theme, but it's, I've heard, done really, really beautifully. So grooming is a topic I was slightly apprehensive reading prior because of some experiences in my life before, but I have such great things about this and I think it would be really a, a good read. So <laughs> here we go. Hope you have a relaxing day with lots of food and presents. You deserve it from Tiffany. Thank you so much, Tiffany, who sent me this sci-fi. Uh, it's called A Paradox Hotel. Um, I don't remember how I found this, but I think I was probably doing the thing that I do very often, and that is looking at all sorts of lists recommended for people who read and liked 
um, dark matter. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I do that pretty often. Um, a lot of the recommendations are not necessarily something that I think I would enjoy, but this one did sound very interesting. It says, an impossible crime, a detective on the edge of madness, the future of time travel at stake. And honestly, unless you're new here, you'll see why I've added that. So I hope to get to this fairly soon and I will let you know if it's anywhere near similar to what we're hoping for here. This one looks like it will be a comic. This one's from Tamina, thank you so much. And oh, it's just such a beautiful art. Oh my God, I love, 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 love. So excited to read this. Um, it's called Lila Star and it's set in, at the time where humanity is on the verge of discovering immortality. And it says, as a result, the avatar of death is cast down to earth to live a mortal life in Mumbai as 20-something Lila Star. Struggling with her newfound mortality, Lila has found a way to be dropped in the time and place where the creator of immortality will be born. Will Lila take her chances to stop mankind from permanently altering the cycle of life or will death really become a thing of the past? And again, you can see the themes that I normally like um, and it just looks so stunning. I really like this art style and I'm really excited to be this I will let you know if it's a new favorite because it could be um so the next one is from Karen so thank you so much and that is another manga which actually is based on the movie so it came out after the movie five centimeters per second and I think this one is kind of like a, a social commentary on um technology and how we perceive life and how we're just moving so incredibly fast that everything is fleeting and it's a love story at at the core. I'm extremely excited to try this. <laughs> Happy birthday to the queen of the moonies. Uh, thank you for creating a safe and positive space for book lovers. And that is from Tiffany, so thank you so much. Um, ooh, yeah, Not My Type is another romance, but it actually has a physically disabled person and any type of disability I'm very excited to read about because it's just not, it, it doesn't happen very often. There's not a representation section that gets represented a lot. That was a sentence. And so it's about Frankie, who is a sexologist who tries to, you know, break the stigma and barriers with, with the topic being disabled as well. And then Jay, who is... I actually don't know who he is. I guess we'll figure out when we're actually um, reading it. And then the other book is How to Kill Your Family, uh, which I've since heard like mixed reviews but i'm still very excited about i love these type of covers i know it's like a trend now and i really approve of it <laughs> i really like that i think another one was like crying in kmart um like a similar type of style so our main character is an actual murderer but is in jail for killing the family and she didn't actually do it but it really caught my eye so here we are send me this really pretty obviously moony themed <laughs> Sun catcher, which will definitely go up next to the other ones I have. I love it. Thank you so much. The next one's from Karen, but I think a different Karen, if I'm not wrong. Um, and there's a private message, and thank you so much, Karen. That means a lot, and I hope you're okay. And we have this comic, which actually just seems really fun. Um, it reminds me a little bit uh, of oh, what's it called? Like the um, the one, the one with the three girls. Oh, Anyway, <laughs> um, it just seems really, really fun. And I hope it is what I kind of think it is. It's just kind of playful and like girl power, um, but to do with like Zodiacs because that just sounds really fun. And it's really, really colorful. And it just, it just sounds like a really good, nice time. So thank you so much. Oh wait, I got more stuff. I got these socks, which are adorable. They have kittens in it. And they are, they're so cute. I love them. There's so many of them. Thank you. I am absolutely one of those stereotype people who will displace the socks in like three uses. I don't know where they go. I have a feeling maybe the cats steal them. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not accusing. Just saying. And then Lauren sent me super cute uh, trinket dishes in the moon shape because of course. <laughs> um, and they are really adorable. They're gonna be another home for my SD cards, no doubt. And then last but not least in the gift department, which is so much by the way, is the parcel from the one and only Jade. Thank you so much, Jade. I have the Legends and Lattes, which I'm so anticipating. Um, I think it's gonna be a brilliant, cozy fantasy and has made kind of red queens and D&D vibes and I am all here for it. It's basically about an orc who decides that killing is just 
not the way that she wants to spend her time and opens a pub. I think I think that's the idea and I'm, I am so pumped for it. Um, and the other one was the Future Collection, which is I think a self-published from the printing same as this short story collection of like sci-fi stories and as we established, that is where I am thriving. Um, so thank you so much. Oh, sorry, and not pictured a massive bag of M&Ms, which I super appreciate, but I sadly can't eat. But Logan is having a blast. <laughs> it's just like anytime there's any type of snackishness, um, he that that is his first stop. So Logan is very much enjoying the gift. I have not had chocolate, sadly, and with like very few exceptions, I've not had chocolate in like probably half a year, maybe more, which is so tragic because um, it's very much suspected that it's one of my like migraine triggers, or at least it doesn't help. So big sad times, but oh my god, I almost forgot because it was uh, on a in a different spot. But I also got a letter from Ellen, who is a wonderful human being and also talented to beat. <laughs> so she sent me a beautiful card. I will link her shop down below, by the way, because I already purchased some stickers from her and I love them and you should too. <laughs> um, and she sent me a beautiful, beautiful card. And then again, some stickers. So I'll show you some now. Uh, this one says I would rather be reading, which obviously <laughs> this one that seems very um, relatable. <laughs> Still hanging on. Uh, this one, which I actually really love. It's like so beautiful. It looks so cool in camera as well. Uh, it's like a hollow sticker and it has a cat and it literally just says no. <laughs> and then this one. It's another cat. So if you're into cats and if you're into reading and if I know my audience, you're into both. Um, it's a really cool shop, I'm just saying. Um, but thank you so much, Ellen. The last thing is so fun is this um, mushroom mug. I actually have another one saved that I want to get from like Sass and Belle, but it's the same kind of idea. It's like it has a little lid and there's like a, a, a mug and it's just so adorable. But again, it didn't come with a note, so I have no idea who sent that to me. I have like, I have a guess, but I don't want to guess. <laughs> Whoever did it, please let me know. A couple of things I got for myself and blamed it on my birthday. Um, this I got from our trip to oh, the Highlands because I just thought it was adorable. And it's a little pride flag with a Scottish flag. Um, pin, which is definitely going on my jacket. Two remaining things is truly just a testament of me surely becoming a proper adult. So first off, <laughs> first off we have these um, frog socks, of course. And they are just... Look at that sassy frog. Look at that grumpy ass frog. I just, I just everything you want in the socks, except that they are long and I prefer the shorter ones, but I just couldn't resist. And then the other thing is actually a project that I backed on Kickstarter a while back, but it arrived really in time for my birthday. So when we got back from the trip, it was waiting for me. One thing I really don't have is the shortage of tarot cards. I don't know a lot of you guys might not be aware, but the the people who have been here for a very long time will remember. Um, but I use tarot a lot as a meditation type of tool, like self-help, self-reflection tool. I accidentally kind of acquired quite a collection. It became a bit of an obsession at one point. When I saw this, it just spoke to me on many spiritual levels. And it's a trash panda tarot deck. It's everything and more that you need. Um, just to show you a couple, right? Random ones. The grape soda is a, <laughs> it's instead of the cups. It's such a vibe. It's just, it's the best. It's funny because I normally use it when I'm not particularly well, which is often. Let's be honest, but I just feel like these are also ones that will definitely make me just smile because how can you not look at it? 100% don't regret my decisions here at all. I know it would be questioned by, you know, people, but I want to be friends with those people. I'm totally okay in my corner enjoying my trash panda deck. I honestly am so excited to read these books. I have so many here that I've had in my basket or considered buying for a very long time. So thank you so much 
for sending me something, it's absolutely unnecessary and um, extremely <laughs> appreciated. It's just so sweet. You guys are the best. A lot of you have stuck with me for such a long time and we came from, you know, doing bookish unboxings and then Harry Potter and the magical readathon and now what a magical readathon is and copile and just vlogs and I'm just like I feel like the channel has changed so much but I always felt very um really humbled that people keep coming back because it's it's very it's very sweet and uh you know when you always feel like an imposter and people still want to hear what you say and then you sometimes feel like you can't even you stumble over your words and you can't really like tie a sentence together <laughs> um so it's uh it's reassuring it's like you know it's like we're friends here so it's nice <laughs> All right, I'm not good at this. Um, thank you so much for watching. Do you know I've been a bit quiet recently, but I do have quite a bit of things planned. It's just I have been really struggling with energy levels. We've been try I'm gonna be trying to figure out what's that about with the doctors, because um, it's like it's like extreme. <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how that goes. But I do have a lot of things planned, and I do have some things cooking already. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And June was actually a pretty good and very decent reading month, which, you know, has not happened in a while. So I'm excited for that vlog too. I hope you stick around. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.